If you've been with me, you've been watching that I'm taking some tack strip off and I'm just using a, a shovel like this with the point on there and that's how you're going to take your tack strip off. You don't need to use a flat bar and get down there and bend down all day long doing it. Let your shovel do the work. You're gonna notice where the nails are. That's kind of where you want to prop up. Just, the, just behind each nail. Okay. Most tack strip is about three feet long or so. And you'll see where the joints are. Now I've got a tile floor up against this. And there's tack strip around it, so I'll just be careful here. In our case, I don't have to be that careful because this tile is going to come out. Ew. Looks like there used to be something here, right along this area here, and I can feel the tips of some nails, so I'll have to be aware of that when I get ready to clean up. Okay, always kind of check your surrounding areas and don't make any assumptions because we want a nice smooth floor when we get done, don't we? And I got some, some earplugs on. Actually, I don't have earplugs on. I've got some toilet paper in my ears. <laughs> And I'm using that as my air plugs. Always good to protect your ears. You know, you're going to spend a little bit of time on this, but why pay a carpet guy to do this for you before he installs your carpet? We're, we've already taken out the old carpet, the carpet pad. Now I've got videos of all that on my channel. Look for them. Now I'm taking out the tack strip because I want the... We're going to be resurfacing this floor a different way. But even if this was going to go with carpet, again, the new carpet installer guy, he, he's probably going to want to put down his own tack strip. Okay? You got any questions, talk to your carpet guy to get you a price. But you can do all this yourself and save some money. Just be, just be careful with the baseboard. You can do it. There's two rows of tack strip. That's okay. We can do it with our trusty shovel here. All right. That piece of tack strip was about four feet long. I've never seen one that long before. So now that I got that out, I can get the rest. The next row up against the wall. I'm not going to worry about anything until I get the rest of the tack strip off. Okay, keep it going. a nice little workout for you. No gym today. Just short, easy stretch.
strokes, a little bit at a time, you can do it. You can be just like the Energizer Bunny. A little bit at a time, slow and easy as you go, and just keep working it. the baseboard and stuff. Now there's a piece right here along the laminate flooring and that laminate flooring is going to be saving. We're going to save that. So just be careful as you go. I think I'm still going to be able to do it with the, with the shovel here. Just don't want to miss the edge and gouge into the floor or something. Got just a little bit more to go. Are you having fun yet? See, you can do it. All you need is a trusty little shovel here and a few tools. And you can start saving yourself a few bucks. Now here's something I want you to think about. If you're gonna use a dust mask, and I highly recommend that, when you're doing your projects, then if you have a some goggles like this, you're gonna steam up your mask or you're gonna steam up your, your goggles as you're breathing, it's gonna go right up in here. So there's always a time for a full set of goggles all the way around. But then what you could do is you can also get goggles that are kind of like sunglasses and they're just clear and then they won't fog up as much because they're not going to have the sides that go right up next to your face and all that. Okay, so when you go to the store, check things out and get what you need.